Let me show you some code, and this time one drawing. Any object is linked to another object called its prototype. The prototype of an object can be obtained with the function object.getPrototypeOf. To access the property P of an object O, written as O.P, P is first looked up in the object itself, then in the prototype of O, and then in the prototype of a prototype of O, etc. Constructors are functions. Functions are objects and have a prototype property. Attention! The value of a prototype property of a function is not the prototype of a function as shown in this code. All instances of a constructor have the same prototype, that is, the value of the prototype property of their constructor. Therefore, sharing something with all the instances of a constructor can be done by storing that something in the prototype common to all instances. Let us look at the following figure. This is the most important figure of that course, so print it, pin it on the wall or slip it under your pillow. At top left is the global environment. With the constructor thing here at top right. And there are two instances, T1 and T2. T2 is there and T1 is there. Thing is a function represented as an hexagon, but it owns a property named prototype leading to an object and the prototype of that object is the empty object. The two instances T1 and T2 have a constructor property in purple referencing the constructor thing and they have a prototype in green leading to that object. The function bins is stored in their common prototype so it's common to T1 and T2 and you can check that T1 has properties stuff, my kind, over and bins, while T2 has properties stuff, my kind and bins.